Hi, it's Vicky here and today I will be creating 10 different cards using the December card kit by Simon Says Stamp. All the designs I am sharing today are very simple to make and quick so you can finish this project in uh, less than 2 hours. First let's take a quick look on what's inside the kit. It comes with this uh, sticker set that uh, these are all puffy stickers. This is a stamp set. It's an exclusive stamp set by Simon Says Stamp, a Christmas themed. It also comes with two packs of uh, self-adhesive uh, sequins. And uh, there is also a 6x6 uh, paper pad. And uh, all those uh, pattern papers are double-sided and you get two of each uh, design. I will be using all of them on my cards today. I'm just flipping them through so you can see the designs. Also, it comes with a small uh, ink pad and uh, that's Versa marking for embossing as well as a jar of, of uh, glitter embossing powder. And there are also five different cardstocks that uh, you can use to create 10 different uh, card bases. So to start, I am uh, cutting out this pattern paper with uh, one of my rectangle dies and I'm just going to stick on top the stickers. For this design, I have uh, chosen the stickers with uh, the stacked uh, gifts as well as uh, the wording that says peace and joy. So this is a very simple and quick card. I'm also going to stick some of the stars on my card and uh, it's pretty much finished. All that's left to do is to stick this on top of a card base. Now the card base I have, uh, I'm using is a standard card. I'm, I have used uh, the cardstock that was included in the kit and I'm going to stick the panel on top using a foam tip at the back just to add a little bit of dimension. So this is the first card. Let's move on to the card number two. For the second card I will be using uh, this uh, circle die and uh, I am going to cut out a um, circle out of this pattern paper and I am going to create a shaker card. So at the back I am adding adhesive to stick this acetate and uh, now at the center I will be using this um, round sticker. I'm using my grid mat at the back to make sure that this sticker is uh, nicely centered and now I am going to add a lot of uh, foam adhesive at the back so that I can uh, create my shaker window. The silver mix that I am using is by Little Things, uh, Lucy's Little Things and it's called Star Shine and it's a nice uh, mix of uh, sequins as well as uh, little uh, bits and pieces of stars and little hearts and everything. It's really nice. Now I am going to peel off uh, all the adhesive and um, cover it up with another piece of pattern paper. Now I'm adding just a little bit of uh, tape adhesive and I'm going to stick it on uh, the card base that I have created from the black cardstock in the kit. So my card is finished. Just uh, if you want to add uh, your message inside, you can use white gel pen or you can uh, stick a piece of uh, white cardstock just like I'm doing here. So that was uh, card number two. Let's move on to card number three. For the third card, I will be using this uh, uh, leftover that I have from uh, a previous card and I am going to use my scissors to cut out that uh, little creature. I don't know what exactly this is. I think it's a little bear. So I am going to cut it out and I am also going to cut out all those uh, little uh, presents. I will be stacking them again on top of a card by using some foam tape at the back. When you are using a card kit like this, it's always nice to use all the leftovers that you have from your previous cards so you can make the most out of uh, your pattern paper. Now I am cutting out the gifts and uh, it's time to create my little scene. I am using this uh, rectangle die and I'm going to cut out a piece out of this pattern paper. And I'm also using some white uh, pattern uh, cardstock that, uh, to cut out this uh, snowbank. I'm going to create a scene here, so I'm going to stick a foam tape at the back for my snow bag and I'm going to stick it at the very bottom of my uh, pattern paper. So now I have uh, a place where I can uh, stick that uh, little creature holding all those gifts. And uh, while I'm doing that, just to let you know that you can find the full list of all the supplies that I'm using today, just like always, below the video in the description area, as well as on my blog. So I am sticking uh, the gifts one on top of the other and I am leaving a, a small gap between them. And uh, finally I will be stamping the sentiment 
which is uh, going to be a sentiment from the stamp set that was included in the kit. For stamping the sentiment, I will be using a VersaFine black ink and I am going with uh, the stamp that says uh, Gifts of Love. So my card is finished, I am adding some tape adhesive at the back and I am going to stick it on top of a card base that I have created with the cardstock that was included in the kit. So let's move on to card number 4. For this card I will be using the circle die and I am going to cut out this uh, piece that says uh, Joy and I am also going to use the rectangle die to cut out this uh, nice pattern paper. For the circle uh, piece, I am using some wing of Stella just to add a little bit of uh, glitter and uh, sparkle on my card and I'm going to stick it centered on my pattern paper using foam tape at the back. And now I will just uh, stick the bird on top of the center circle that says Joy to the World and I think it's a beautiful card for peace. Just because the design is so simple, uh, to finish off the card I will be adding some sparkle with those uh, sparkling uh, sequins that are self-adhesive. I am going to use some tape adhesive at the back to stick this on a standard card base that I have created. And my card is finished. So let's move on to the next card. For this card I am going to use the rectangle die and uh, decide which part of this pattern paper I want for my card and I am also going to use scraps from previous cards to cut out some triangles with my scissors. I am going to use different colors and uh, the idea is to create some banners for my card. So I am cutting out the blues and uh, the red and uh, any solid color that I can find on these um, uh, leftovers from the cards. I am also going to use this uh, scrap paper from the previous card and cut out the bottom line that says um, no picking until Christmas day. This is a Versamark pen that I will be using. It has uh, two different nibs, a thinner and a bigger one. I will be using the bigger one now. And uh, all that does is uh, the same thing that uh, a normal uh, Versamark ink does. It adds some uh, sticky ink wherever you want to. So I am going all over the tree trunks. And I do that because I want to use the embossing powder that was included in the kit to add some sparkle on those uh, trees. I am applying uh, the embossing powder and uh, then I am going to heat set it with my heat gun. The embossing powder is quite transparent but at the same time has a lot of sparkling so I hope you I can grab uh, the light so you can see how sparkling those uh, trees are. It actually um, translate, transforms the pattern paper into a specialty pattern paper with uh, sparkle. So now I will move on and stick this uh, at the bottom and this is going to be the sentiment for uh, this card. I'm just using tape adhesive in the back and uh, I will cut off the word uh, day. So it's, uh, it matches perfectly my card. Now I'm using my crocodile dial to add a couple of uh, holes on my card and I am also going to use these eyelets. <coughs> and I am setting them with my crocodile dial and uh, the idea is to create a banner to stick uh, the thread I am using a red thread to stick it I am using this uh, gel medium that I have uh, already added in uh, a fine tip uh, bottle that uh, does my work uh, really easy and now I am going to stick uh, the thread where uh, that uh, line of uh, gel medium is and I'm going to secure this thread at the back with some scotch tape. And just like I said in the beginning, today's cards are quick and easy, but they make the most out of, your, uh, of the supplies that you get in this kit. Now I am going to stick all those uh, triangle banners that I have created. I am using some foam tape to add the dimension that I need. And my card is pretty much finished. I am using some tape adhesive to stick this panel on top of a black cardstock that I have created and uh, this uh, black cardstock was also included in the kit. So let's move on to the next card. For this card I will be using these uh, two pattern papers. I am going to cut out this uh, nice design from this pattern paper 
And uh, I am also going to stick it on top of a card base using some tape adhesive. So that's directly on uh, the card base. I am using a standard card base that's four and a quarter by five and a half. It is top folding card and uh, the cardstock was also in the kit. Now I have cut out two stripes of paper out of that uh, beautiful pattern paper and I have used some white thread to go around the pattern paper three times and then tie a bow. I'm using my scissors to cut out the excess and I'm going to stick uh, this panel using foam tape on uh, top of my card base on one side. Now I will be doing the exact same thing with a thinner pattern paper on the other side. So I'm peeling off uh, the foam tape, making sure that all this uh, thread is, ni is nicely placed and uh, stick it at uh, the top. Now this is a nice card but I wanted to take it a little bit further so at the other side I have added just a little bit of tape adhesive so that uh, this thread is uh, stuck there and now I'm going to use some uh, foam tape and stick it on the other side. This is a nice and simple design that you can uh, use with any cardstock that you have at home to make a quick and easy design. Just to add a little bit of sparkle, I will finish off the card by adding uh, some uh, Wink of Stella clear glitter pen on those triangle trees. So that was uh, the card. I am going to move on to card number 7. For this card I am using my paper trimmer and cutting out this uh, pattern paper to be slightly smaller than a standard card. So that's uh, 5 and a quarter by 4. And I have a leftover piece from a previous card that I will be using as the focal point on this card. And uh, to do so I will be cutting out a snow bank out of white cardstock and uh, I am going to add some tape adhesive and stick it on top of this um, tiny little uh, pattern paper to create a little scene. Now I will be using the stickers and in the stickers there is this puffy little house. I am going to stick it on top of the snow bank so just to have everything leveled I have added some uh, tape adhesive only on the top of uh, the house. I'm also adding uh, the sentiment as well as a few stars. And this is where I realized that uh, the focal point was kind of lost on the busy background. So I decided to mat it on this uh, piece of cardstock. And this is probably the only cardstock that I have used that wasn't included in the kit. Because I had um, used up all this uh, color for my card bases. But I happen to have the exact same color on my stash. I am using a uh, tape adhesive at the back and I'm going to stick it at the center of my card base, leaving a nice border all around. This is where I decided that I want to stick that uh, puffy tree on my scene. So don't be afraid to cut off uh, parts of the stickers that you already have and make them uh, match your card. I'm going to place it just behind the snowbank. So I am uh, kind of moving uh, the stars. And my card is ready. So let's move on to the next card. For this card I will be using these two pattern papers that I have left over from previous cards and uh, I am going to use my scissors and follow the pattern making uh, a nice design on the edge. So I am trying to make uh, what I have uh, left into something um, interesting so that uh, the card is not too simple and uh, I am taking advantage of the pattern that I already have on this uh, piece of uh, pattern paper. As I move on uh, the last cards, I don't have uh, so many supplies on the kit and um, I am trying to make uh, all the cards using as uh, less of supplies as I, ha as I can from my main stash. So all I have added on these cards are uh, a few dies that I already have and uh, pretty much everything else is from the kit. The red pattern paper is uh, glued directly on the card base while this pattern paper is slightly raised by using some uh, foam tape at the back. So this way you can see better the design that I have uh, made with my scissors. To finish off the card I am using some stickers that say do not open until uh, 25th of December. And the card is ready, so let's move on to card number 9. 
For this card, I am going to create a super simple scene. I am using this leftover pattern paper, which is going to be the sky for this scene. And uh, for the bottom uh, of the card, I will be using uh, some white uh, cardstock to create a snowbank. Uh, for the snowbank, I am using some uh, foam adhesive at the back to add a little bit of dimension. And by the way, the foam adhesive that I am using is not too thick, so it uh, doesn't add too much bulk on the card, and you can uh, use it easily send it with uh, a standard uh, envelope. I am going to stick that uh, deer on uh, the snow bag and uh, this is the card pretty much finished. I am just going to add some sparkle with those uh, self-adhesive uh, sequins that were already in the kit and uh, for the sentiment I'm going with this uh, sticker that says oh dear. So that's uh, card number 9 and let's move on to card number 10, which is the last one for today. I am uh, going to use this uh, circle die and cut off uh, a piece out of this pattern paper. And I, again I am creating a shaker card. I am using some tape adhesive in the back to stick uh, a piece of acetate. And uh, then I will go ahead and add some uh, foam tape. To create my window. For the inside I'm using again the same uh, mix that I have used for uh, one of the previous cards. This is by Lucy's Little Things and you can find a link to this mix just down below. And uh, this is uh, where I am using again uh, that piece of cardstock that I have added from my stash. And to finish off the card I have just used two more stickers, a little uh, gift and uh, that uh, Christmas saying. So here are all the cards that I made for today. I hope I gave you enough ideas so you can uh, use up the most out of uh, your card kits uh, with uh, simple and easy designs. It doesn't have to be complicated. And let's take a look at what I have left over. Only three stickers, lots and lots of sparkle, many scraps and only one full pattern paper. So these were the cards for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired and if you did don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close up photos of the cards. For more inspiration, here are two more Christmas cards that I made, which are much more complicated than the ones that I shared today. Click on any of the videos to watch it or you can find the links just below in the description area. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already, because this is the way to tell me that you love my videos and you want to see more. Thank you all for watching!